It's 6.30 straight ahead. Storms in Oklahoma spawn tornadoes. We'll show you the hardest hit areas. Plus, another crime spree for one Texoma town. What the burglars took from a local house of worship. And authorities know why a driver rammed into a house. We'll tell you what they say caused the crash. These stories and more are next. The news starts right now. Texoma's number one rated newscast, broadcasting live from 12 studios. This is News 12 at 6.30 a.m. Rise and shine, Texoma. It's Thursday morning. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Rita Cote. And I'm Jesse Schroeder, meteorologist Tom Miller, joining us now from the Weather Center with a check of that Thursday forecast. How's it looking, Tom? Well, the cold front is finally pushing through Texoma, and as it has, it's kicked off a few scattered showers. Let's go ahead and take a look at the radar, and you can see on these last few frames some shower activity in Choctaw, Pushpataw counties, as well as Cole County. And this is all moving off quickly to the northeast. And before you know it, we're going to be left with plenty of sunshine later this morning into this afternoon. So clearing skies today and some mild temperatures. Also an opportunity of isolated showers tomorrow as the main upper level system swings over the area. Now sunshine into the weekend and that means warm temperatures. But right now, again with that front working its way through the area, we've seen temperatures dropping off into the mid-50s behind the front while ahead of it. Well, as you can see, Paris is at 68. Kids at best need a light jacket this morning, but as you can see, by this afternoon, we're expected to warm nicely. We'll have a complete look at the forecast in just a few minutes. Thanks, Tom. Crime news this morning. A place of worship in Denison is the latest in a long string of break-ins. News 12's Sean Larson shows us what those burglars stole. It makes you kind of feel violated. Vicki Gaskins is the president of Rise to the Time a nonprofit outreach for several local churches and a place of prayer with a Christian library and a community garden. And they get to take the produce home and they do whatever they want to with it. Gaskin says they're just trying to make Denison better. And part of our cry when we pray is that God would touch the hearts of people and help them to see there's another way to live. So when she got a call last week. We came as soon as we got back to town and realized that yes, we had been broken into this time they kicked in our kitchen door. She says this time because it's happened before. Stole a brand new printer that replaced the printer that they had stolen in December and two monitors, two computers that also replaced monitors that had been stolen in December. Gaskins estimates $3,000 in losses from the December burglary and about $1,000 this go around. One thing they stole especially bothered her. A cross that was made out of solid brass and it was laying right here on the top of this Ethiopian Bible. Gaskin says the theft of all the computer equipment has set back their future plans. To have a place here that's like a hub for people that don't have internet access. Well, all thefts are uh, a disappointment. Several businesses have recently been hit along Morton Street. Denison police are investigating. But it, it's more disappointing when they attack a place of worship. And I'll be very honest, it took me a couple of days to pray that one through, and after a prayer, I realized, yes, I do. I do want to help people. In Denison, Sean Larson, News 12. Well, Denison police have identified a suspect in a possible credit card theft. Investigators aren't releasing his name just yet, but they believe this man has been using a stolen credit card at several businesses in town. Officers won't say which ones or what he bought. No arrests have been made yet. A stolen trailer reveals even more stolen goods in Pontotoc County. News 12's Brittany Harlow has the latest update on the recent bust. Pontotoc County deputies and Ada police searched this house on Cherry Street last week after a man was evicted from a storage unit he was running. Pontotoc County Sheriff John Christian tells News 12 32-year-old Chance Avery Schmidl stands accused of stealing thousands of dollars worth of equipment from a former employer, among other charges. Mr. Schmidl apparently had built uh, a storage building on this property or had something to do with the construction of this building so he knew what was out there. A trailer left behind at the storage unit Schmidl was running was searched on Tuesday. Christian says the trailer was stolen and believes most of the property inside was stolen as well. Schmidl and 38-year-old Reggie Don Brown were arrested on Thursday after Christian says they were found with stolen property, eight guns, meth, marijuana, and a handheld radio with the sheriff's office frequency on it. A third roommate, 44-year-old Christopher Rohrer, was arrested at Mercy Hospital where he worked. Because he lives at that residence, um, the, uh, the guns, the items that they recovered 
are all in connection. Rohrer also stands accused of stealing property from the hospital. Christian asks anyone who believes they may have had items stolen from them to come forward with item descriptions and serial numbers. In Pontotoc County, Brittany Harlow, News 12. A Bonham man will spend 10 years in prison after being convicted of a child sex crime. 22-year-old Jose Winslet pleaded guilty on Wednesday to one count of sexual assault to a child. A judge sentenced him to 10 years in prison. Tom Bean police say Winslet was arrested and charged with the crime last August. His bond was set at $25,000. A North Texas officer accused of murder failed to disclose past accusations of excessive force. Ken Johnson was cleared of two excessive force complaints in a previous job as a Dallas area rapid transit officer, but didn't disclose the complaints when he first applied at the Farmers Branch Police Department, but then later told officials he thought it was too old to disclose. Johnston, Johnson resigned from Farmer's Branch after being charged with murder and aggravated assault in the March 13th shootings in, John, in Addison. Johnson was off duty when authorities say he saw two people burglarizing a vehicle and chased them in his personal vehicle. Developing this morning, a Texas woman is the latest American victim to be identified as among those killed in the Brussels attacks. Gail Martinez, a Corpus Christi native and wife of an Air Force Lieutenant Colonel, was identified as one of the victims on Wednesday. Her husband and four children are among dozens that remain hospitalized in the attack that killed 32 people. The Islamic State has claimed responsibility. Hundreds of family, friends, and fellow officers will pay their respects today to fallen trooper Jeffrey Nichols in Paris. The 27-year-old was killed in the line of duty Saturday night when his patrol unit crashed into a tree along FM 38 near Tigertown. Visitation services were held at Fry and Gibbs Funeral Home on Clarksville Street. His funeral will be held this afternoon at Lamar Avenue Church of Christ. If you'd like to pay your respects, we posted the procession route on the KXII app, also because of congested traffic, you may want to find an alternate route. A Hilton man was killed in a crash Wednesday morning when his car rolled several times. Troopers say 32 year old Jason Johnson of Hilton was headed north on Hospital Road just north of US 70 when he missed a curve, crashed into an embankment and rolled. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Troopers say Johnson was speeding and alcohol may have been involved. Police say a medical episode caused the driver to crash into a Paris home around 9 o'clock on Tuesday night. Police say the 29 year old driver had a seizure and lost control, crashing into a fence, then into the side of a house at the corner of 23rd Southeast and Cedar Street. The homeowner says he ran outside and realized something was wrong with the driver. I opened the passenger side door to try to get him out. Uh, but I couldn't move him. I couldn't get him across the console and he was having a seizure. So I just sat there and waited till the police came. The driver of the car was treated at a local hospital and is expected to recover. Another passenger was also treated for minor injuries. No one inside the home was hurt. Authorities say a Murray County woman was likely killed in a house fire when the roof caved in on her as she tried to escape. The fire marshal says 43 year old Becky Hill dropped a lit cigarette while she was sleeping at her home off Aqueduct Road back in February. They say when she woke up and tried to get out, the roof collapsed, knocking her out. Officials say an electrical issue sparked a fire that shut down a popular gas station in Davis. The Sooneret Grocery Store and Gas Station near 6th and Main Streets caught fire Monday night around 11 o'clock. Fire crews say it started in the attic. Davis Fire says the business is a total loss due to smoke and water damage. We are told the owner plans to rebuild. Well, this morning, powerful storms are moving across Oklahoma and into the southeast. It's been a sleepless night for many people in Tulsa after several tornadoes were reported to have touched down on Wednesday night, leaving several people injured and knocking out power to thousands. Brian Webb reports. Storm moved through Oklahoma last night, spawning at least a half dozen reported tornadoes in northern Tulsa. It's on the ground. We have a tornado right there. A helicopter news crew described the scene over Owasso, Oklahoma, as the tornado sent debris flying through the air. I hope people are taking cover in this area. And sent residents running for cover. I said, get on the floor. I said, get down, get on the floor. Two minutes later, boom, all the high winds just came through and just tore up everything, broke out windows. I mean, it was, it was pretty intense. 
the damage was widespread. Several homes under construction in this neighborhood were destroyed. Other homes had heavy damage. Large trees and power lines were left lying on Tulsa area streets. The same storm brought record-setting rain to Little Rock, Arkansas. Three people had to be rescued from their car after it went into a river. The severe weather system is moving into the southeast and is expected to bring heavy rain and flash flooding to the area over the next 24 hours. Brian Webb for CBS News. Domingo residents are still trying to clean up the damage after last week's storms. This is video of crews working on repairs yesterday morning. Hail and strong winds damaged several businesses downtown. The church steeple and radio tower were also blown over. Riders Auto Shop says they've been busy repairing busted out windshields on cars. The time now is 6.41. Tom Miller back with us now. And Tom, we kind of dodged a bullet with that severe weather yesterday. We really did. We had, of course, the tornado activity up and around Tulsa mm -hmm. and then some very heavy thunderstorms in around the Dallas-Fort Worth area. We seem to slip in between that. Still looking at some shower and thunderstorm activity as the fronts move through the area. It's popped off a few scattered showers and thunderstorms across Pushmataha County as well as Cole County. We'll get to the radar in a moment, but we're looking at our Tanglewood Tower cam. This brought to you by Glen Pocato Plex and Supercenter in Gainesville. Looking off to the east, the further south you go, clear skies. The further north you go, well, you run into some rain. And as we take a look at Doppler 12 Live, you can see a few light showers up and around Cole County on in up towards McAllister, northern Pushmataha County. But they are quickly moving off towards the northeast. The actual frontal system is just along the 6975 core, and that's what kicked off a few of those showers. And again, some lingering showers up and around Pontotoc and Cole County. And not much in the way of uh, thunderstorm activity, just there around Daisy we have a little bit. But again, that's going to be out of the area and in Arkansas before you know it. 56 in Sherman and Denison, 8 at 59, 59 in Ardmore, 59 in Durant. Almost everybody is reporting those winds turning around to the uh, northwest. And again, that front is just along that 6975 corridor and has left temperatures in the 50s behind the front. And ahead of it, we're seeing temperatures in the 60s, such as Paris at 66, 64 in Hugo and uh, Bonham. Well, again, behind it, 55 in Davis and Sulphur, 54 in Ringling. Rainfall from yesterday shows that we had trace amounts in northwestern sections with over an inch in the Paris area. Lake Texoma, well, that's slipping a little bit, 615.75 feet. And as we take a look at that allergen index, a little bit of grass pollen to deal with. And, of course, the tree pollen still with us, oak, hackberry, and maple. Ridge of high pressure is going to be building in behind this front, so we got a little bit of cloud cover to deal with, and we have the upper level low that's going to cut through the area tomorrow. And as that upper level low cuts through the area, it's going to bring a little pocket of cool air that's in the Four Corners area, and that's going to go right over. So the upper level low actually will be just south of the area, and you can see the rain. Yeah, we could see some light showers tomorrow morning, but high pressure quickly building in. We'll clear those skies off Friday afternoon, and we are looking at a fantastic and I mean a fantastic weekend. Hope you're able to spend some time outside. Here's that upper level wave moving across the area. A few light showers possible. Now we're not talking about this morning. We're talking about tomorrow morning and then we'll see some clearing skies. But yeah, we could see a shower or two in the next hour, hour and a half, mainly in eastern sections of Texoma, but clearing skies with mostly sunny skies this afternoon everywhere with a high of around 71. And then tonight it'll cool down. We'll have fair skies, 44. The clouds will really start to increase tomorrow morning, and that'll give us uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies. I've included that 20% chance of a scattered shower. North winds under that upper level system of 15 to 25 and a high of 61. A low of 39. So it's going to be chilly Saturday morning, but Saturday afternoon, 69 degrees, 75 on Sunday. Monday will go 79. A weak front moves through dry. Brings that temperature down to 73 on Tuesday with the sunshine and a low of 49. And Wednesday, we're looking at partly cloudy and 76. Thanks, Tom. Coming up on News 12 AM, the latest controversy surrounding the GOP frontrunner and his recent comments. The latest from the campaign trail coming up next. The time now 644. Back in a moment. Our Carpet One Floor and Home. 
we make choosing and installing new floors easy and hassle-free. Hard surfaces are the perfect flooring solution for a busy lifestyle. Classic hardwood and durable vinyl plank flooring can withstand the wear and tear of the whole family. Cleanup will be a cinch with water-resistant flooring. Beautiful ceramic tile will freshen up any room. Installation is fast, and if you don't love it, we'll replace it with our beautiful guarantee. Lifetime installation warranty. Only at Gold Star Carpet One in Denison. Get KXII News when you want it. In the KXII app, you can browse through stories to get the content you care about. Categorized by location, local or national headlines, video, or if you want, you can look for anything that is News 12 AM, you can. Save stories to read later, share them with friends or family, and even control the notifications from inside the app. The KXII app is available in Google Play and the App Store. Don't wait to get your news. Get it when you want it. Everywhere you go, everywhere you are, in the blink of an eye, when you least expect it, it will happen. It does happen. It's happening right now. As it happens, when it happens, give us a tip. Tell us your story. More Oklahomans are getting off Social Security disability and going to work than ever before. They get help from DRS, and taxpayers save more than $15 million every year. DRS helped me train and get paid for the work I do. So I don't need a disability check anymore. And now I'm a taxpayer rather than someone on disability benefits. If you get disability benefits and want to work, call the Oklahoma Department of Rehabilitation Services, 1-866-882-4515. Together, we make it happen. Well, today, Ardmore Regional Park unveiled 15,000... Watch News 12 with Dan Thomas. Weeknights at 5, 6, and 10. Right here on CBS 12. Donald Trump continues to draw criticism following his controversial remarks on abortion. On Wednesday, the GOP frontrunner asserted that women who have abortion, abortions rather, should be punished if abortion were to become illegal. Remarks he later recanted, but rivals on both sides have seized on the issue. Brian Webb has the latest from New York. Donald Trump's turnaround did little to calm the firestorm that erupted moments after he said this. The answer is that there has to be some form of punishment. For the woman? Yeah, there has to be some form. Soon after making the comments, the GOP frontrunner released a statement saying if abortions were illegal, the doctor or any other person performing this illegal act upon a woman would be held legally responsible, not the woman. The anti-abortion rights group March for Life quickly panned Trump as being out of step with the movement, saying in part, no pro-lifer would ever want to punish a woman who has chosen abortion. Trump's chief rival, Ted Cruz, shared similar views. You know, that, that comment was wrong. It's the latest demonstration of how little Donald has thought about any of the serious issues facing this country. Some of Trump's supporters quickly came to his defense. He is not a politician. He has not been coached. Trump's latest controversy is putting him further at odds with the GOP establishment and women voters who prefer Democrat Hillary Clinton over Trump. Clinton is now asking rival Bernie Sanders to back her in becoming the party nominee. I'm ahead. I'm ahead by a significant uh, number. I believe I'm going to continue to add to that number. Sanders is counting on a win in Wisconsin's primary next week to stop Clinton's momentum. Brian Webb for CBS News. And we're taking a live look outside now with the Sherman Tower cam. A check of your forecast coming up next. The time now, 649. Hope your Thursday morning's off to a terrific start. We'll be right back. I feel connected, informed, included, inspired. So when important things happen, we're here. Your local TV and radio broadcasters. America's number one source for news, weather, and information. On every screen in your life. We are broadcasters. Always here for you. Wherever here may be. Text TV to 52886. Tell Washington local stations matter. 
The 2015s from G3 are here, and to introduce you to the great new lineup of the exciting all-new 15s, Blackbeard Marine makes the payment so easy there's no reason to wait. Catch the all-new G3 Sportsman 17, powered with Yamaha dependability with a monthly payment as low as $169. Or step up to the Angler V172. Its awesome performance is yours for as low as $195 a month. Check out all the exciting details right now at blackbeardmarine.net. G3, Yamaha, and Blackbeard Marine, voting your way every day. Blackbeard Marine, Willis, Oklahoma. Stillwater Milling and Davis is your choice for western wear and accessories. Boots by Ariat, Red Wing, Justin, Anderson Bean, and Cinch, as well as Corel Fashion Boots for ladies. Clothing include Wrangler, Cinch, Woolrich, Miss Me, Big Star Fashion Jeans, and Rock and Roll Jeans. And be sure to check out our great selection of Brighton jewelry, handbags, and accessories. Stillwater Milling Company, more than just a feed store. Are you looking for a real gun shop? Make the short drive to Gun Runners in Ada. And don't miss our indoor climate controlled gun range. Large selection of reloading supplies and gun parts in stock. Made in Oklahoma holsters by Don Hume, as well as holsters by Blackhawk and Uncle Mike's. We have a large variety of ammo calibers, including 22. Sign up now for our concealed carry classes and don't miss our selection of Wise Company emergency foods. Gun Runners in Ada, a real gun shop. Wouldn't it be nice if someone made mom's life easier? Someone on call when the kids got sick. Someone with the perfect dinner idea. A team of fellow dog walkers, potty trainers, and tantrum tamers. Someone who listens, who understands, who lends a hand. Wouldn't it be nice if moms didn't have to do it all on their own? At Moms Every Day, we're making mom's life easier. You're watching News 12 AM with Rita Cote, Jesse Schroeder, and from the Weather Authority, Tom Miller and Weba Donito. We're looking at a beautiful sunrise from our Tanglewood Tower Cam. This brought to you by Glen Polk Cataplex and Supercenter in Gainesville. Frontal system now starting to move into eastern areas of Texoma. And it has kicked off a few scattered showers, even a thunder shower early around Daisy. But that has since moved into McCurtain County. Even some light showers in Pontotoc as well as Cole County. But they'll only be around like that. As again, we're looking at some high pressure building in behind the frontal system, some drier air. And we're expecting plenty of sunshine late this morning into this afternoon. 59 right now in Ardmore, 59 in Durant. And we have 56 degrees in Sherman and Denson, 59 in Ada. And have northwesterly winds of 5 to 15. And you can see the front in its wake has left temperatures in the 50s. Just ahead of the front, we're in the 60s with Hugo at 64, 66 in Paris, and 61 in Bonham. Out at Lake Texoma, the elevation 615.75 feet and falling. Water temperature at 56. And what we're seeing is the upper level system is going to be coming in behind this frontal system. It's lagging behind it by a good, oh, really about 18 hours. So we're going to see some clearing skies, a little lobe of high pressure builds in behind the front, and then this upper level system moves in. And watch it as it moves out of El Paso. You can see the cloud cover expanding into Texoma. Even a few scattered light showers possible tomorrow morning. But high pressure building in from the Four Corners is going to stay with us through the weekend, leaving us a gorgeous forecast. Today, we are, we are looking at 71. With clearing skies, again, maybe a sprinkle within the next hour, hour and a half, mainly north of uh, Highway 70 in southern Oklahoma. While tonight we're looking at fair skies at 44. If you're headed out, you may need a light jacket with that breeze out of the north at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. But as promised, it's going to be beautiful tomorrow. A little chilly uh, as we're looking at temperatures of around seven, uh, 61, clearing skies in the afternoon after we get rid of some cloud cover in the morning and that 20% chance of a scattered shower. We're going to cool down, though, with the clear skies, light winds, good radiational cooling, 39 degrees Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon, sunshine, get out, and maybe be able to mow the yard, wash the vehicle, 69 degrees. We'll make it to 75 on Sunday. Notice not too windy, so that'll help us out. Low of around 44 Sunday morning. And then Monday, we're looking at sunshine in 79, but we'll see a wind shift in the afternoon as a dry cold front moves through the area. It will kick in winds out of the north at 15 to 25. More Pacific in nature as a result. You can see the temperature doesn't take that much of a dip behind the front on Monday, Tuesday. Sunshine 73 after a low of 49. And Wednesday, not too bad of a day. We're looking at partly cloudy skies. Another, as it looks right now, dry cold front moves through the area. 
We'll see a high of around 76 before the front moves through in the afternoon with a morning low of around 52. All right, thank you, Tom. A Texoma police officer took time out of his day to play a game and spend time with those he helps protect. Denison Police Sergeant Jesse Grissom stopped to play some basketball in a Denison neighborhood on Tuesday afternoon. The Denison Police Department acknowledged Grissom on their Facebook page after a parent of the children posted this photo on her page. Since then, her post has been shared hundreds of times. The kids say they enjoyed every minute with Sergeant Grissom. It was surprising. I didn't think he'd stop and say anything. Most cops are nice. It is to protect citizens. And we started, we played a couple games of horse. How did that go? Who won? The cop. <laughs> <laughs> well, the children's mother says they appreciate the sergeant spending time with the kids. Now here's a look at what's coming up on CBS This Morning. Coming up, multiple tornado touchdowns near Tulsa and more severe weather in the forecast. We report from one of Oklahoma's hardest hit areas. Plus new warnings about the threat of the Zika virus spreading in the U.S. More real news coming up on CBS This Morning, next. KXII News, when you want it. In the KXII app, you can browse through stories to get the content you care about. Categorized by location, local or national headlines, video, or if you want, you can look for anything that is News 12 AM, you can. Save stories to read later, share them with friends or family, and even control the notifications from inside the app. The KXII app is available in Google Play and the App Store. Don't wait to get your news. Get it when you want it. Moms today are busier than ever. When they have questions, they need answers. Now, at home, school, or on the go. That's why thousands of busy moms turn to MomsEveryDay.com each day for advice. If your business has experts who can help make mom's life easier, we want to hear from you. Join the Moms Everyday community of more than 1,000 experts across the country and help elevate your business as a local solution for local parents. Real help, local info. Moms Every Day makes mom's life easier. To become a partner, email us at joinus at MomsEveryDay.com. Texoma High School seniors have the chance to receive a $1,000 scholarship. Every Friday during this school year, KXII will feature one student athlete on News 12 AM and News 12 at noon. Then in May, at the end of the school year, KXII will choose one male and female high school senior to receive a scholarship for $1,000. You can only be nominated by your teacher, coach, or school administrator, and make sure these nominations are sent to KXII TV. A Plus Athlete, brought to you by Texoma Chevy Dealers. At Gold Star Carpet One Floor and Home, we make choosing and installing new floors easy and hassle-free. Hard surfaces are the perfect flooring solution for a busy lifestyle. Classic hardwood and durable vinyl plank flooring can withstand the wear and tear of the whole family. Cleanup will be a cinch with water-resistant flooring. Beautiful ceramic tile will freshen up any room. Installation is fast, and if you don't love it, we'll replace it with our beautiful guarantee. Lifetime installation warranty. Only at Gold Star Carpet One in Denison. From the latest in medical technologies to current health and wellness tips, KXII and TMC have partnered for the last 20 years to help you make better decisions for the well-being of you and your family. TMC Medical Minutes, every Monday through Thursday, during News 12 at 5 on CBS 12. Everywhere you are, in the blink of an eye, it will happen. When it happens... Give us a tip. Tell us your story. Well, a woman accidentally drove her car off of the fourth floor of a car park in Baltimore. Well, Lindsay Taylor Cook was pulling into a parking space when she crashed through the concrete barrier and landed upside down on the pavement. Well, now Ouch. she was taken to the hospital with minor injuries, but is expected to be fine. Wow, she got really lucky. Mm -hmm, I bet that was scary. <laughs> but now that I know Ooh. she's okay, can you imagine? No. <laughs> 
That would scare you to death. Yeah. Well, especially when the car tips upside down and yeah. all you're looking at is the ground. Well, luckily nobody was underneath. That could have been a bad yeah, situation. Yeah, that's true too. Think that. That's true. Well, Tom, weather-wise, what can we expect for our Thursday? Well, a few minor showers this morning, but we're looking at clearing skies this afternoon with plenty of sunshine and really pleasant 71 degrees. Now, tomorrow, the upper-level system moves over. It brings us some cloud cover, maybe an ice sled shower in the morning. But look at that temperature dip down to 61. Beautiful weather over the weekend. 69 Saturday, 75 Sunday. A little cool in the morning on Saturday, 39. And we're looking at a low of around 44 Sunday morning, but at least the beginning of next week looks as well. Pretty pleasant temperatures in the 70s and lows, suffering around 50. And these temperatures are about where we should be? About where we should be. All right. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, thanks so much for joining us. You can always go to KXII.com. We hope you have a great day.